Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Welcome back to the last mission on the northern branch of the Red Turn. After that, we will begin the Central Campaign stream. So, here we are at East Prussia, and let's get to it. Let's see what the Prussians are up to. And as we just load up, I wonder what awaits us. So... Here we are. Okay, it's just a happy little overview. What have we got? Well, our supplies. We have a supply off the road. And down in the south, your supply actually isn't going to be all that brilliant. Um, the one that's just across the river there is going to be the maximum uh, range you're going to have. So that's going to be an 8 uh, there as well. So it means the supply down here is going to be a challenge. Uh, up here, you have two supply sources that are on the road. As for your objective, uh, we have to take one objective that's across the river by turn two, the town by turn four, and the uh, the last objective by turn five. And it's important to note that um, the uh, axis and we have two supply sources, one that's really not very useful and one that's on the road. So yeah, let's get to it. You have a lot of infantry that isn't at full capacity or full strength, but uh, you do have numbers. So try to just drill with your um, artillery special steps, the same unit. And then you're going to need to do a little bit of juggling to get them uh, in and out of the way. Your uh, tanks will be great for just punching through. So definitely use those because you want to drive up towards this second objective really soon. And you also need to get a foothold across the uh, river. Okay, so we used our airstrikes and what do we get? Two suppressions. Not the best result. Okay, so now we're just trying to uh, find gaps. Um, certainly, when you look at it, you want to think how many units you have uh, that can attack, especially with the artillery. So, for example, we're just trying to punch through here where we can. Uh, over here, the logical choice is this unit here because we have three infantry uh, units with uh, special steps attached to them. So we're able just to punch through there. And just keep in mind for that they might try to make a, a, a stab for your uh, supply. So down here, uh, again we're just trying to get a foot across the river. We have a lot of armor but we want to make sure we don't get bogged down. As you see, I had nowhere to go so I had to push one unit all the way back to try to get across and get some breathing space there. Definitely want to uh, push your armor up. Again, your rear armor first, and then uh, able to uh, cover path of the armor that's in front. Okay, so what have we got here? My uh, supply, to take note, is uh, right here, so I definitely want to put a unit on that. Otherwise, it's quite a tempting target, and you can use that just to tempt them if you want. So we have all our armor across the uh, the river in a really good position. And there's not much you can do here. Um, just keep your supply. Take careful note to really make sure that you um, don't have any gaps in your uh, in your line here, because I'll just jump across the river, cut off supply, and you're in trouble. As you can see, their supply is very very good except for these units out here, so they're really not going to have any trouble. And it will be just a, a fall back. Though they don't generally give up the river, uh, so we'll try to hold that. It just makes uh, a lot of sense there. Okay, so they've thinned out their line over here, um, which is quite nice actually, because it will give me the chance, and they've pulled back these units that are our supply. Okay, we have this Tiger Tank Special Step Unit there, which might be a bit of a, a worry. Now, I probably should have used, moved one of my units in the first turn up here, but uh, I just forgot about that one. So now we have to take this by uh, this unit on this turn, so we're just putting all our attacks into it. The artillery uh, wouldn't have done anything here, so we're just going to hit it with our tanks. Which is going to be costly, but unfortunately this is what we have to do. And um, that was good. We uh, got a retreat. We're also able to um, uh, 
make sure that we can um, cut him off as well. So you want to put a very strong unit there, and you want to make sure that there's not many threats that can actually take it. So if you can do some damage to this guy here, and you can remove this guy and place your own unit, that's all the better. For the moment, uh, you've got to keep pushing up. You can uh, cut through without having to go get bogged down by the forest over here. That's definitely a good idea. You've got to keep pushing for this objective. Um, because there just there isn't that much time. There's never much time in this game, but you just can't sort of hang back here. You've got to try to spearhead your infantry through. Okay, here we're just trying to use our strongest tanks to uh, take out their biggest threats in the south there. If we can get a unit here, we can cut off their supply. Or if we can up here, so that's definitely the goal. So you want to use your armor to uh, spearhead through. And just use your infantry to create a defensive line back here. But definitely get your armor up. Okay, we just got to bleed this unit out and we're pushing up through. Okay, we've got some nice strong units here. And it's okay to not have units here because they can't cross the river in this turn. Okay, so let's just have a look. We are at the maximum extent of our supply. So it looks like we're gonna um, need to really make use of the uh, of that. There we go, so we obviously could hold our own here, but I think the idea there was a cut off supply. Okay, as they fall back to the objective that we have to take in uh, two more turns. Okay, this guy might uh, chase around, but you can always cut him off with one or two units up here. So, again, we're pushing our armor down. We want to try to get deep uh, to the objective, and it looks like we should be able to take this one next turn, possibly get an overrun. Definitely want to keep progressing our infantry. Okay, and doing whatever we can there. That unit is being very stubborn, but we are attacking across a, uh, a river. He is a uh, veteran unit as well. He was a veteran unit. <laughs> okay, even at great sacrifice, we still need to push up. Taking note that the um, of the terrain is uh, a swamp there, but it's pretty clear to travel through there. You don't have to worry about a lot of forest, so that's a little uh, slip route if you wanted to go that way. All right, now I'm just trying to clear out some of these stragglers so we can uh, not have to worry about them coming up and cutting off supply or. Uh, or clouding the objective, working with zones of control. Okay, we don't have that much we can do with these units, but if we can try to slip up, that would be great. But they are going to be out of supply, I do believe the uh, we are extended there. So unless I can link them up here, they're going to not be much use there. Okay, back in the south. Just trying to clear out some units. Ooh, that was stubborn. Okay, now what we've done is just cut off supply for all these units up here. And we got a free hit on this one. Given that there's only one supply that supplies our entire army, if you can definitely smash this unit out, uh, it's very handy. I've also noticed that I've been able to do that um, and take the southern objective uh, one turn ahead of the other one, which has always given me. Um, uh, quite the advantage. Now these are units are out of supply, just to take note. So it doesn't really matter what happens here, but again, we don't want to give away uh, anything to the enemy. So we want to try to keep our supply line uh, secure so we can pull units back if we have to. Okay, and just trying to inflict a little bit here. But they're definitely cut off. We took that one hexagon there, which means uh, we're all good. And I, I should have used my airstrikes on this before I attacked. I would have done 
probably more damage. So that was an error on my part. Well, they are tempted right here to uh, take my supply, as you can see. So they're really going to give this unit a run for his money. But with his specialist step there, he uh, really hanged on. <laughs> yeah, he certainly deserves the uh, a medal there. Okay, so uh, I'm pushing my armor up from the um, in the south to go towards this objective. I want to pull units off so they can't just sort of cluster around here. At the same time, I won't need every tank to attack here, but uh, I'm only going to have one shot because these units are going to be out of supply next turn. A little bit of housekeeping in the south there. Okay. And these units are falling back because they know they're out of supply. But they're not going to be able to really do anything. Okay, but they have kept these units um, stuck for the entire duration of this mission, so, you know. That keep them keeping that defensive line on the river wasn't the uh, the silliest uh, strategy, but it didn't stop my victory either. <laughs> okay, so over here, what have we got? We uh, do everything we can to suppress, and now we want to barrel in on these units. Just to take note, um, I think the enemy has done something very silly here. The flak, which stops you from using airstrikes on any surrounding units, didn't actually protect their objective unit. So that wasn't the best place for that unit to be, and really that should have been in the objective. It's a much stronger unit. And now we're just trying to do everything we can to cause as much damage in the back here. Okay, so we remove that unit, bring forward our back unit there, and luckily he retreated. That was quite nice. I don't know how we would have taken that if we couldn't have. Um, and as you see, a simple attack uh, pulled him out and he withdrew. Um, another option, I guess, is I could have tried to drag my armor up, say destroy this unit, come up here. I uh, probably could have destroyed this unit and then maybe tried to force one up, but I don't know if I would have had the range. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I would have been struggling. Definitely could have destroyed this, but I'm not overly sure. I think the armor really won the day here. And because it was a weak unit, I was able to take it. Sorry, if we just have another look. You want to try to carve your way through to this objective, make sure your armor can attack by turn two. You really need to have a unit here. Um, it's very, I think it's important to have your armor adjacent to the objective so you can do maximum punch. Over here you want to look for ways through, this is a good uh, valid way to come through, up here. And maybe you can even push your armor through, but I doubt the um, this can be taken without really successful air raids. Um, in that situation over here, you want to push your armor across, you'll have to try to destroy this unit, pull probably this one back, so you pull him up here. And then you want to um, push your back units up, because they're really strong, with a great specialist step. Come up here and then start smashing your way through so that you can hopefully take this on um, and cut off supply. Uh, if you can make a mad dash with your horse, that's even better. And then start to carve your way up, know the extent of your supply, which is I mean, roughly around here, and then uh, make a kill move. Well, this has been Experience Point. I hope you've gained some experience from watching this, and uh, happy hunting!